A lot of people ask us how we're going to go ahead with this build in the current environment that we live in today with inflation and cost of goods and materials. So I was uh, behind a guy on the gas line over there at pump three, getting ten dollars worth of gas, and I thought, where the heck is he going to go? Pump four? <laughs> 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 but uh, I know where you can still get gas at a dollar thirty-nine. Uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It's really not that funny, but you have no. to just make a joke out of it no. because things are really spiraling out of control. Gas prices are just so bad. So today I thought we would uh, both try and answer some of those questions about what we're going to do to try and manage this whole thing. Offset yeah. the inflation being right. so crazy. Welcome to our channel. I'm Kathy and that's Rich and we are living off grid in the Adirondacks of New York State while building a homestead from scratch on 135 acres so we can live a simpler life of freedom and sustainability. A lot of people think maybe we should build this year, we should put it off. We did that already last year, and that was a big mistake. It didn't, yeah, it didn't work it out. It didn't work out. We're going to forge ahead this year. We're, we're heading straight into it, and we're doing it. In order to get it done, what we're doing is we're really separating, we're really separating out our wants from our needs, right? right? Yeah. What we want may not necessarily be what we need. Pretty so, much isn't at all what we really need. <laughs> so we basically brought it and narrowed it down to a couple, you know, four or so categories what uh, we actually really need. And they are running water, right? <laughs> a dry warm shelter, heat and hot water, and some form of electricity. Power. So we're going to start with the water because we need the water at the beginning. That's how we're filling our camper up. We can't change the kind of house that we're building. We already had the steel delivery. So we're still building an earth shelter house. So the Shot Creek guy definitely needs water for his job. The shed that we got last summer, mm -hmm. which is going to eventually someday be our chicken coop, that is going to be a temporary um, pump, pump house. house. Yeah, sure. Pump house. We did have a generator on order uh, for the whole house backup system that we were going to use. That was a 14,000 watt generator that was supposed to have been ordered November 1st, but we had problems. The guy never ordered it. Right. So that is now not going to be in on time. So we had to buy another generator. Right, we bought a, another <laughs> Predator generator that has just the right amount of watts to power this well pump for us temporarily. The pump is a special soft start, uh, lo low amperage, yeah, low Yeah, low, low power draw, yeah, soft yeah. start, so it doesn't require a lot of startup amps. Right, basically. which we purposely bought because we're completely off grid. And I guess we'll jump into that next. We'll talk about electricity. So the well will provide us water. We have to have running water, not just for the Shot Creek guy, but to live, mm -hmm. obviously. So that's number one important. Water co always comes first. <laughs> the second thing would be the electricity. Oh, yay. We got them, the rebar ties. That was a struggle. I yeah. ordered them from Home Depot, and literally within a half an hour, they canceled my order. All right. <laughs> Who'd have thought that something like this would be hard to find? Honestly, they were only like twenty-five bucks, but they were very hard to come by, and we need them for the house. What else do we have in there, Rich? Some little uh, what do you call these? These little connectors for mm -hmm. the wires. Mm -hmm. The little wire stripping tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We got four rolls, two hundred and fifty feet, so a thousand feet. 12-2 with ground, Romex cable. 
There's one all the way up there. Oh, I you see only it. See three, I know. That's what I was wondering. You saw me looking. Who's gonna get that one? <laughs> all the way back I don't know. <laughs> and some 14.3 with ground. So Dad helped us out, and he went and picked this up for us. And he said that while he was there, all the contractors were picking up a ton of wire that they purchased also. And they said that it was a good thing that we got it when we did because the prices are going to go up quite a bit. Yeah, Lowe's just happened to have a pile of it in stock, so everybody was buying it all. Yeah, so we, yeah. we really got it in the nick of time. So we did make a very major purchase. Ouch. Yeah, well, we're not going to get into that cost. <laughs> Stay tuned for a video on that entire thing. But we made the purchase in January because... They were having a 10% off sale by the end of January if you had pre-ordered. So we did. We made the plunge. We bought a 6,400 watt solar system, which consists of 20, 320 watt panels. And... Three batteries. Which are... Total of... Ooh, 16,000 16, watts. Yeah, 16,000 watts. But they're lithium iron phosphate. They're called Life PO4s, which are supposed to be very safe. Those will be installed in our house. And we ordered another 14,000 watt generator on our own, uh, which we should also be getting in. So we'll have that as backup. So if the batteries run down a little low, then it'll jump to the generator and we'll have um, electricity right. for the house, which of course is very important. That is on order. And suppose we were supposed to hear something by now because we're in March. We haven't heard anything yet um, as far as delivering on any of that. That generator, the 14,000 watt generator, runs on propane. Yes. And I think we told you last fall that we already put uh, a 50% deposit on a thousand pound propane tank. Thousand gallon. Thousand gallon, sorry. Propane tank. Thousand gallon. set up waiting for that as soon as the ground thaws and the weather gets a little better we're gonna get that all set up. and they can get that truck up our driveway, yeah, with the truck up the driveway. Yeah. and that propane will provide us with a backup heat right backup yeah. heating system in the house um, hot water and the energy for the backup generator for the electricity that's right that brings us, let's go to heat then next. Our main source of heat is? A wood stove. Right. So. Oh, tell that story how lucky we are. <laughs> so we went, uh, we bought that wood stove last year um, during COVID and everything. And uh, we, we waited we, like six months, right? Yeah. We waited a while for it then. And we're glad we did. Because that same stove, I think, is probably something like a year out in the... Uh, in delivery. In and the, $500 more. And $500 yeah, more. Yeah, it went from like $1,300 to $1,800. They actually took the model off the floor in the store. Right. Because it's not even available right now. It's just, you can't get it. So yeah. we are really lucky we have it. But we, what we didn't have... Was the chimney pipe. Right. So we recently went back there and we ordered our chimney pipe. We went over all the installation and the fire code uh, requirements. requirements for that particular stove. Yeah, how many like um, ceiling stops or what do they call chimney stops? Fire stops. Fire stops, right? In, Going up. Right. Um, class A pipe. Yeah. Very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. We probably could have gotten it cheaper at like a box store, but we wouldn't have gotten the knowledgeable advice that we needed and that personalized service you know you like to think that that's right. worth a little something you know with their experience right. and expertise and knowledge and know-how about the installations of these stoves to make sure everything is safe and passes all the fire inspection building codes exactly and we're doing it diy so we right. need that 
And the same thing with the solar system that we bought. We actually bought a kit which comes with like a DIY installation, everything. Yeah, they sent me all the diagrams and it's good for a guy like me to learn how this whole system works. So if there's ever a problem, hopefully it'll be me that fixes it and I won't have to call somebody, <laughs> so. Well, hopefully. <laughs> um, so, so far we talked about the water, the running water, hot water, heat, in the house, and electricity. Mm -hmm. The last thing is the shelter. The kit is the kit. We can't change the kit. We already have the foundation pretty much set. We know who's excavating. We know who's pouring the foundation. We uh, probably are going to do a lot of DIY. <laughs> wow, it's look at yeah, it out wow. there. Holy cow! <laughs> We're gonna probably do DIY and get some help to do the rebar for the dome. Mm -hmm. We have a few uh, feelers out to build the parapet walls and to frame out the interior walls. Right. We have the plumber. We have a plumber pretty lined much up. Set, yeah, 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 lined he's, up. He's, he's uh, working up uh, an estimate for us. Right. Um, we have the Shot Creek people. They're scheduled, and I just I just touched base with them, and they're still on. For July yeah, and part of the kit is the uh, the membrane the membrane <laughs> oh the foam oh my god the foam I forgot we the had foam. a problem with the foam yeah, and we did. Uh, that was that a big was part deal of the for a kit. while right we told you in the fall that they canceled it right right and then it was gonna cost like twelve or thirteen hundred dollars more and now they've canceled that one because that never came in and they found another distributor that's here on the East Coast and the price went back to what it was. Thank God, so that was actually a big bonus. That's one thing that worked out. Right, so the foam is on order, so we're waiting for that to come in too right now. Yeah, um, so I... Oh, and the other thing on the house, I was back to the membrane. Right. So then the membrane, then the foam, and then we'll cover it with the dirt. We ordered the windows and the doors. Yeah. All right, we just did it. We just paid for all our windows and that gigantic sliding door. Sticker shock. Ouch. <laughs> we, we tried to stay as close on budget as we could. I think we did pretty good, but inflation is definitely hurting us. Yeah. Home Depot was okay though. I mean, if you're a member of their pro team, they send it out and you get like a bulk discount. That saved us almost $6,000 is just crazy. I don't understand how any of that works, but it was worth it. And we, I also applied for a credit card. Richie already had one, but I applied and it saved us another hundred bucks. So that helps. hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. Sure is. Um, so that's it. We have all our exterior doors and windows. Definitely some serious big bucks going out in the last month. It's been a painful month. We knew it was going to happen though, so. Right, we knew, we knew. We're just, all we're trying to do is just stay in budget. That's all. That's all. Yeah. And that was a huge, um. Ouch. Shocker. The windows are going to take 15 weeks to come in, but that big four panel. 12 foot door. 12 foot sliding door. That's not coming in until December. It's 41 weeks out, right? Yeah. So, so we'll have to do something temporarily to close that in. Yeah, so that's our goal. If we could get that done and get the house covered and dried in with doors and windows, the other things that might have to wait are the big porches. That's not a necessity. Those Don't might mean. have to wait. Mm -hmm. You know, the carport can wait the finishing the walls inside the house right you want fancy trim and paint well, that might have to wait a little while concrete and bare wood is, is okay with me a concrete floor is fine with me concrete we just floor. want a place to live we don't care give me a dry warm house and a hot shower we'll get a stove you know the sink we'll get that that basic kitchen done and we're okay we don't need a second bathroom right now no we don't. so that could wait we want two bathrooms, but we can get by. We only need one. Yeah, wants versus needs and getting just the bare basics done 
by the fall, I think is 100% doable and staying within our budget. Um, I think so too. So all in all, we got most of the pieces of the puzzle. We have the ball yeah. rolling. Yes. <laughs> right. So we'll be getting that well pump in, getting the generator that we just bought, that 6,500 watt predator up and running and making sure that we have running water. Propane tank get, get put in place. Right around the same time, you're going to see the guys start to break ground for the, count, for the foundation. foundation. Yeah, probably everything is going to happen really fast once it yeah. gets going. It. And we're going to be moving back to the property. We're going to put the yeah. trailer in a different spot. We came to a decision. We're moving again. We're moving again. <laughs> so stay tuned for where we're going to put the trailer now. We're still forging ahead. We're getting this house done. One Do or die. <laughs> We're, we're sacrificing so many things that we absolutely don't need at all, and we will get it done. Stay tuned. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Kathy. And I'm Rich. And we're creating a simpler life in the Adirondacks.